two best friends who lived together, studied together, graduated together, started their job together, decided to go on vacation. So both of them boarded a ship. They started their journey. Unfortunately, their ship was stuck in a storm and the voyaging ship was wrecked. Somehow, they too managed to swim across the ocean and reach to a isolated island. Nobody on the island except these two friends. So ultimately they decided the only resource which they had is to pray to God. So they decided to pray and to know whose prayers are more powerful they divided the territory. Ron, the first friend, decided to go right side of the island. Love, the second friend, decided to go to the left side of the island. And both started praying. The first pray which they made for the food. And you know what happened? The next day, on the right side of the island, where Ron went, all of a sudden, he saw food bearing tree on his land. He praised God and he ate those fruit and satisfied his hunger. The other man parcel of land was still barren. After a week, the first friend, Don, he was feeling lonely. He prayed for a wife. And the next day, one more ship was wrecked and the survivor was lady who reached to the wrong part of the land where this first friend was. On the other hand, love part was still empty. Neither food, no companion. Now finally, the first friend, he prayed to God for a ship so that he along with his wife and his belongings can go back to his home. Next morning, to his utter surprise, he found a ship dock to his part of the land. He immediately took his wife and all his belongings and boarded in the ship. And when he was about to leave the island, suddenly a thunder voice from heaven came to his ear asking are you going alone you are not taking your friend your companion he was afraid he asked the voice who are you the voice replied I am the one who answered all your prayers he bowed down. He said, Thank you, God. I deserve it. And you have answered my prayer. Thank you, God. The voice again asked him, Will you leave your friend, love? He said, He doesn't deserve any blessing. That is why none of his prayer were answered. He needs the same treatment. He needs to be here only. The voice rebuked him. He said, Ron, if I have answered your prayer, don't think it is because of you. What you are praying, I am not interested. But what love is praying, I am interested in that. You made plenty of prayers. You need food, you need clothes, you need companion, you need shelter. But your friend love, he made only one prayer and that prayer I answered. You know what was that prayer? He prayed, Oh God, please answer my friend drawn all the prayers. Please provide him what he is asking. That is why I am giving you everything what you are asking. It is because of your friend love that I was blessing you. By hearing this, 
He was full of tears. Yes, my dear people, always remember our blessings are not only of our efforts and prayer. Our dear ones are praying for us. Our friends are praying for us. So always honor your friend. It is the same. A friend in need is a friend indeed. So always value your friend. God bless you.